Hello everyone, today I want to show you the math curriculum that I am using for my kindergarten students for 2015-2016 and I have chosen to use Matthew C. Primer and this is a curriculum for kindergarten students, for preschool and kindergarten students and my daughter already has started using it. Uh, we will be working through the summer and taking some time off in the fall so that is why we have started early and so far she has loved this curriculum she looks forward to doing it every day. Uh, we make sure the lessons are short, five to 10 minutes. And the reason I chose this curriculum specifically is because it's a hands-on math curriculum. And for, for little children that are uh, between the ages of three and seven, they lack abstract thinking. So having a hands-on math curriculum is very important for them to understand um, math concepts. And I love teaching children hands-on math, living math, because it just makes more sense to them and it, it goes with their current development. So, so far, Jade has loved this curriculum. I want to show you um, what it consists of. So here is the instructor's manual. And basically this manual um, helps the teacher um, with the lessons, it tells the teacher how to introduce the lesson. It gives ideas on activities and games and how to explain each lesson. It gives the teacher the freedom to teach the lesson as they want. It just does uh, give the teacher some tips and tricks on how to teach each lesson. Um, at the back, it has the solutions for each of the pages in the workbook. You can quickly just look at it. Um, and you can quickly just look at the answers. So if you're grading, um, you can do that very easily. So that's the instructions, instructor's manual. It also brings a CD and the DVD basically is an instructor introducing each lesson. So the child watches the video and sees the teacher on a big board showing how to do the lesson using the manipulatives and it is a great way to get children to learn from other people um they get to see the video from this instructor and he is absolutely amazing um the way he teaches things so simple um using the manipulatives and i think it's great that the children get to see and get to learn from someone else uh, rather than me they get to look at that dvd um so and the DVD lessons are really short and the children look at it and then they can go ahead and do the lesson. Um, so here is the workbook and the student workbook, what I did was I removed the binding. I took it to Staples and I removed the binding because sometimes it's hard for children to work. Um, having the book open, using the manipulatives, it's hard to, uh, the binding sometimes gets in the way. So I went ahead and I removed the binding and I put it in this, um, in this binder and it just makes my life a lot easier. Um, so what I do is I have a uh, kindergarten work box and I have shown this in another video. Um, I will link uh, the video below so those of you who have not watched it. So here from my, I have a math pouch for example and I put, go ahead and just take out the lesson for the day that she'll be working on, usually just one worksheet, and the manipulatives that she will need. And she does it independently, and I love it because it's so easy for me. And then when she's done, I go ahead and I put it back in the binder. Um, so let me show you how this works. So basically the child works through the curriculum using the blocks. So for example, here, the child would place these little blocks here place the little blocks here one two they would count it and then circle the two they would place the blocks here one two three four five six and then count and circle the six so they go on and it starts off really really easy um, they place the blocks and write down the answer and it does introduce the concept of zero right from the start which that's really important goes on um, they can practice their counting and then circling. It doesn't require any writing at all at first. Just circling there and using the manipulatives. And as you can see, the book is not super colorful. 
And I think it, it, it's great because it doesn't really distract children from the main purpose. Very direct to the point. It introduces uh, concepts in different ways. Here we go again with the blocks. The child will place the blocks and then count and then circle. And here the child is asked to cross out the wrong answer and circle the correct one. Again, using the blocks. Then here they start teaching the child how to trace a number and by them staying inside of a path. So it does teach the child how to write their numbers as well. As you can see here, it starts teaching them how to trace. So then the child would have to stay within the line here and trace the five and then color in five squares. Again here, color in three squares and then trace the three. So it's good practice for them. They will trace their numbers and then color in, shade in the number quantity of that number. Um, so there it is. Here they do an eight and nine. Um, it starts introducing uh, shapes, and this is good visual discrimination. It, it asks the child, how many rectangles are white? And the child would have to count and circle. Here, how many are black? Goes into geometry. Here, the child would count. You place the blocks, and then count, and then write the answer. I love that they use the blocks because... Like I said, it just makes things so much more interesting and so much more uh, engaging for the little ones. Let me go ahead and skip around the book so that you guys can take a look. It brings 30 different lessons, so they should la definitely last as a year. And so uh, it even goes into place value. So we saw some number quantity, some number recognition. It goes into place value. Um, it has the um, count, match, and color. So the child would use the blocks again to do these problems. It also has uh, addition problems in which the child would place the blocks and um, build each addition problem. It goes into addition again using these blocks. And I love the blocks. Um, the blocks. Each number represents a different color, so one green, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Here are the hundreds and some more tens. And uh, it brings, this is the larger set of manipulatives, but you can also get the smaller set. If you have more than one child doing the curriculum, you want to get um, the larger set of manipulatives. Um, I also do recommend the box to put the manipulatives away. I like the box because you can teach concepts here and they can practice their addition problems on here. For example, if they will be doing this problem, 3 plus 3, they can do it on here. Um, so they will take 3 plus 3. What is 3 plus 3? And then they would find the answer, 6. 3 plus 3 is 6. They would count. And you can give them different... Um, Problems like this to teach addition, like 1 plus 2. What is 1 plus 2? 1, 2, 3. 1 plus 2 is 3. And you go on and on um, solving your addition problems like this. And I think it's just such a, a fun way to do it. Um, so that's how you would do these addition problems. You could do it right here in the book as well, on the, on the worksheet. You can bring them in the clips here instead of using the box. But I just find the box so much more uh, useful. It does start introducing skip counting. It does um, two skip counting by twos, fives, and tens. It continues going on with the addition problems into the bigger problems, using, of course, the manipulatives at all times for, for all the problems. This is towards the end, so this is more like of the harder problems. But here, the, the child would use the blocks to solve for the unknown. And I love it that everything is um, mainly taught with blocks. And so the child really sees what's going on. Um, 
goes on teaching it even teaches tally marks so they will match the tally marks with the quantity it teaches uh, goes on to teach time as well by the minute and by the hour and um, they teach the time with the blocks as well so it's a, it's a really unique curriculum because I really have never seen time being taught it brings this huge poster and they teach time using the, this huge poster here with the blocks. So the child will place the blocks here um, to learn how to tell time. Um, so I think it's, it's, a really, it's a really fun curriculum. It's very unique, um, the way they do things. So here's teaching time by the minute and by the hour. What hour is it? Let's see. And then we, we haven't gotten to this part here. And then at the end, it briefly introduces subtraction, very briefly. Um, mainly, ju it just focuses on addition and number quantity and number zero through nine in the beginning. But then at the end, they do focus a little bit on um, subtraction. Um, so that's the end of it. At the end, you give your child a certificate that they have completed the curriculum. And then you can move on to their next curriculum um, the, the, um, for the first graders. And so I think... I think it's a great curriculum. Um, like I said, my daughter has really been loving um, this Matthew C. Primer. I totally recommend it. Um, I will post a link in the description box where you guys can get it. Um, in the next video, I'm going to show you the other math, um, uh, the other math materials that I'm using for math this year um, to supplement uh, Matthew C. Primer. Well, I hope you have enjoyed the video. For more videos like this, please subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.